All right, so a couple things about uh, the trim sheets. First off, this trim sheet that I'm using is geared for vertical items. So this horizontal frame here will not actually work as well because the lighting and shading may not be uh, all that accurate. So I'll have to make a new one. The next thing I want to take note of is that uh, there's obvious stretching, so I want to make sure that I take care of that as well. So I'll need to make a note of the different kind of trim I want to have on the horizontal as well as the vertical. In the meantime, what I can do is go ahead and fix the UVs on this particular object. I've already slapped all of these pieces together and I've already stretched out the UVs or spaced them out to where we can see them independently so there's still no overlapping. All right, uh, what I need to do is grab, I'm just going to grab the faces, holding control, and I'm just grabbing these faces here. I'm going to uh, hit F2 to turn the red off, and then I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to select the entire set pieces here. The thing that I have a problem with here is that they're all stretched out, and if I scale them here, it's not going to scale each piece directly. So I actually would have to do something a little different. Um, I should have done this before I actually collapse everything, but since I did not, let's go ahead and just stack these pieces right on top of each other as if and I'll get everything lined up here in a little bit. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll scale them all to make sure they all fit the exact same way. All right, so I've got several that. Uh, uh, Windows key. Irk. Right, so I can definitely kind of pull these down a little bit and so what I'm gonna do is ooh, I'm gonna get all these to work what I can do is grab one now I want that back on grab that one is that the one? did I not grab the right ones? No, I'm on this side son of a duck Right, so I'm going to grab that and I'm just going to scale them up to where that point meets up. Grab a whole bunch of these. I can deselect what I don't want and just repeat this. Holding shift to make sure I scale just in uh, one single transform. Something seems off on that one. I bet I'll have to fix that. It's all the same piece. So I'm just grabbing all of them with the actual select by element on. And then I'm just scaling this up here. It's not going to be a perfect fit, but you know what? I'm going to be satisfied with the result here in a little bit, regardless. All right, so this one actually has two different angles because uh, it's just the way things got scaled up. I'm going to go ahead and scale them to the top to the greater to the maximum uh, common denominator. And the neat thing is that there is some actually overlapping. I will grab them at the same time as well. It looks like there's an other piece there that's kind of weird. Definitely curious about how that's going to turn out. And then here I think I'm just going to grab these by edges. I'm going to deselect select by element. Actually, you know what? I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. <coughs> but I know at least I can grab these and scale that down. Scale that up here. So, um, one of the things I'm thinking about doing, I'm going to fiddle with it too much right now. All right, so what I need to do now, I'm gonna grab these faces. Um, that's true. So what I'm gonna do here, let's do this. Since I'm selecting my element, I'm gonna grab that and I'm just gonna deselect. I'm gonna deselect my element, so I'm gonna turn that back on and then deselect that one. And then I'm gonna slide, and it's gonna slide all of them at once, or at least all but those in that one. Sweet. So let's deselect that one and now slide these down. 
And what that's doing is allowing me to select all of these pieces, which is going to select the contiguous elements that are welded together, including all these random parts that are not quite fitting. Um, and then I'll select the pieces that I've been working on. And then here I can deselect the entire element, which will deselect some pieces that I am not working on. And so there's that. Okay, so now I gotta get the half. So what I can do here is probably have to turn that off. Because I've got overlapping pieces here. So what I can do here is that's off. So turn off back face. And I'm gonna slide that over for the time being. So we'll select by element. Actually, you know what? I don't need to do that. I'm just going to select here by element. Yeah, that's what I want. And then deselect this side. Slide it over. There's a couple of things I want to do here is making sure that I get probably the, I want to make sure that I get the corresponding sides. So if I deselect all the time from this side and slide that other selection over. That means that these will all be on that side will represent so we'll slide that up here. Alright, so we should have different flowers, uh, just a slightly different. It's not quite lined up, but what I can do here is I want to get the height of these guys. So they're sitting in next to each other. I can grab them at the same time. So I'm going to slide that over, make sure that one fits the way it needs to. <coughs> so there's two ways I can scale. I can scale this. So if I scale, squeeze that in there, it's gonna make that rounder. If I scale it up this way, I'm gonna lose the trims, borders. So I'm gonna make them skinny. I'll make it more round. Scaling. There we go. Alright, so I'll have to find probably a different trim piece for these pieces, but that's okay. Like I said, these are horizontal and all my images are based on vertical. And since these do right on the same, I can actually scale them at the same time. So I'm holding shift and left clicking to get Turn on the tiling. Cool. Rounder. All right, so that's what I want to make sure I do. So I'm going to fix the new trim sheet. So I'll build new ones here in a little bit. Sweet, I'll be back.